Hello, hello, and welcome back to another great week of online fitness classes. I'm Josh Delgado, coming to you live from the Athletic and Wellness Center at Centennial College Progress Campus in Scarborough. Today's class is all about strength at home. Building strength at home is about getting stronger with minimal equipment, mostly body weight. Now we are going to use some small uh, weights. If you have small weights at home, get them close. If you don't have small weights at home, get creative like we all have to, getting bags of rice and canned foods and filled water bottles and jugs and I was just told laundry detergent's another good one and filling up old bottles with things like beans and rice is another good one, uh, sandbags, whatever you got at home going on, as long as you can match two of them, one in each hand, that'll be helpful for a workout like today. So trying to get strong at home with minimal equipment is all about what today is about. We're going to do a full body workout, going to do some lower body circuits, then some upper body circuits, finish with a bit of stretching. So we're going to get together, um, we're going to start together with a warm up. Oh, and just real quick, right now we're only doing live on Instagram. So if you have friends that watch via YouTube, let them know that all our lives are on Instagram at this point in time, and we will be uploading our shows onto YouTube later. If you're someone who prefers YouTube, we're going to be uploading the classes to YouTube later. But right now, the lives are on Instagram only. Okay, so let's get started with our warm up. We're going to start with some zombie marches, which, if you've been following along, you know them very well. Large kicks, swinging forward with the legs, making sure we have enough room going in each direction, about 10, 12 feet, as high as you can get your toe towards the ceiling and then kicking with your hand, sorry, kicking towards your hand and your arm is about parallel to the ground. And even if you're kicking just a few feet because you're not very flexible, that's okay. The effort is what counts. So you're trying to warm up, trying to get to the edges of the ranges of motion as much as possible. And what we're gonna do now is you're gonna go down onto one knee and I want you to fall forward and reach towards the ceiling and we're going to do 10 modified lunge reps included in our warm up on each side. You want your hips to go as low as possible on your way forward and down, keeping your arm up in the air. If my right leg is back, my right arm is matched with it. About 10 reps, then we switch sides. And forward and down, three and as far as you can stretch forward, five and it's a nice pulse, six, seven, eight, two more big ones, nine, keep your hand up tall, and ten, good stuff. We're going to stand up nice and wide and we're going to do a three point stretch for reaching. Your hands are going to reach back below in front. And nice and high behind us. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. We're going to do a few of those. Two, and three. One, two, and three. Let's do two more. And three, and last one. One, two, and three. Good stuff. We're going to do some arm rotations in and out. We call them hugs. Hug yourself and then go out nice and wide. And give yourself about 10 to 15 nice big hugs, opening up the arms and shoulders, chest and back muscles. Shake them off. We're going to do some elbow circles as part of this warm up. We're going to use the elbows today, that's for sure. Give them about 10 rotations, go in one direction, stop, push them the other direction. Shake it off, shake it off. Hands together, and since we're going to use our wrist today, I want you to warm up your wrist. So in a no specific pattern, just rotate them, get them around, move them around, move them around, shake them off. We're going to do some hula hoops, some nice big hip circles. We're going to do five in each direction. Three, two, and one. And stop, go the other direction. Five. Four and as wide as you can get those hip circles. Three, trying to open up those hips. Two, 
and one, going down to the knees, three, four, five, then go the other direction, four, three, two, one, down to the ankle, same leg, five in one direction, circles in the ankle in both directions. To the other leg, start with the knee, five, five, four, big knee rotations, and then focus down at the ankle, a bit less knee movement, four, five, other direction, four, three, two, one, shake them off, shake them off. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to show, demonstrate the exercises in the first circuit. It's going to be a lower body focused strength circuit. It's going to be a tough one, so watch me first. We're going to be doing walking lunges. So we're going to walk forward, one, two, three, keep your position in reverse, three, two, one. So that's six, and we're going to do 15 in total, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three more, three, two, and one. So that's what the set's going to look like, walking back and forth in the small space. So at home or from wherever you're watching, make sure you have enough space to go back and forth the 15 steps. Now, if you want to walk in a straight line and you've got a long hallway or a nice long bedroom or you're out in your garage and you want to do it down the driveway, that's fine. You can do seven steps out and seven, seven steps back in. So I'm going back and forth until I get all my steps. But just realize that I'm doing half of them forward and half of them going backwards. And that combination is what's going to give us the full effect of that workout. The second exercise, we're going to do it on a raised surface. So what I want you to do is, I have a bench here, but at home, you may have a couch, you may have your bed frame, you may have a chair, you might have stairs, you might have an ottoman, whatever you got going on at home, I need it to be anywhere between knee and hip height. Okay, you have a big variation there. This is about not even two feet off the ground. If you're anywhere between two to four feet, you're in a good place. Even if you have something low, raise a few inches or a foot off the ground, that's fine too. As long as you're up off the ground, you're in a good place. So the reason is we want you in a bridge position and if your feet are off the ground, then you can go a little lower and get more of a range of motion on the way down. Let me just adjust this real quick right here. Get your butt nice and close to your heels and the base of your height. And the idea is to dig your heels in to your base. And with your heels dug in, you're gonna push your hips towards the ceiling just like that. I remember with our raised height, you're gonna get more range of motion, which is gonna give us a bit more glute and bum activation, which is ideal for what we're looking for in our full body routine. Now, if you have nothing to put your feet on and you have to do the workout with your feet on the ground, there's nothing wrong with that. Down and up, you get less range of motion, but still a decent workout. Okay, and if you're a person who going up and down uh, might aggravate your lower back or is not comfortable, you could just hold your position in a bridge and just hold this for the time it takes us to do our full rep set and then come down. Either way, you're gonna get a good core and glute workout from that one. And then as a burnout exercise, we're gonna do squats and you have two ways to do the squats. Now, after those two exercises, as soon as you do a full body squat, you're gonna to start to feel some burn through your hips and thighs. Now, if that's enough for you, continue to do your squats as low as you can for 10 to 15 reps, whatever I call out. If you need a bit more challenge, you're gonna add a hop at the top and do some jump squats. Just a light hop, okay? And those are your options, okay? Either body weight squat with no hop, or hop. So those are your three exercises. And those three exercises are gonna be more than enough for this circuit. And you're gonna feel it regardless. You're gonna feel it in all the right places, I promise you. So get a quick sip of water if you need. 
And we're going to get started with our walking lunges. We want 15 reps, and we're going to move together. If you're someone who wants a bit of challenge, and you want to hold some weights in your hands while you're lunging, it's optional, not mandatory. So we're going to do it for 15 reps together in three, two, one, and take big exaggerated steps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and let's go back for fifteen. Good stuff. And put the weights down if you got them. Otherwise, go straight to your raised bridge if you got the height. And we're going to do 15 and get started right away. 14, as many as you can get in in this time. 13, 12. Remember, use your glutes to move. Push your hips up to the ceiling. 10, 9, keep it up. 8, 7. Remember, your option to hold it just at the top is an option 2, 5, 4, Three, big squeeze to the ceiling. Two, last one, and one. Good stuff. Shake it off, and right away to our either body weight squat or jump squat. Up to you. And we're going to do 15 for the first set. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Time. Well done, well done. Woo, I'm definitely feeling the burning in my thighs. If you did it right, you'd be feeling it too, which I'm sure you did right. Get your quick sip of water. That was round one. We're going to do three rounds total of that leg exercise, that leg circuit, starting with our walking lunges. Woo. And now with the mic on me, you get to heal, hear all my uh, deep breaths and the times I'm out of breath. Whew. No way to hide that anymore. Okay, so 15 reps. Stay with me. Three, two, one, round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, uh, 10, I lost count, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good stuff. Shake them off. Down to our bridge. And our feet are up at whatever height you got or on the ground. And together we're going to do another 15 all the way up. 14, squeeze through the hips, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, deep breaths, let's go, keep it up, 3, stay with me, 2, all the way up, and 1, good stuff, shake it off. Right away, we go to our jump squats in three, two, one, and 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Well done, well done. Shake them off. Whew. Feeling that one. How are we doing so far? Still with me? Guys still alive? Good. Now remember, if you're not able to watch us live, we're going to upload the videos onto YouTube later. And you'll be able to watch us through the YouTube. So we're going to do live on Instagram and upload it later onto the YouTube, so you have the options there. Round three, 
Last set, 15 reps of all three in three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three, two, and one. Shake them off, down to the ground. For our bridges, feet are up. And 15, three, two, one, up. Push through your heels and really squeeze through the back of your legs. Two, all the way down, all the way up. Three, deep breaths. Four, keep it going. Five, six, keep it up. Seven, eight, push through. Nine, hold at the top like this if you like. And 10, keep it going. 11, 12, three, two, squeeze through your glutes, and one. Hold at the top. Let's everyone hold at the top. And five, four, three, big squeeze to the ceiling, and one. Well done, all the way down, all the way down. Last set of jump squats, or regular squats, but let's make sure to finish strong. Let's feel them in the thighs. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Well done, well done. Whew. Good work, good work. If you're still here, high fives to you. Good work, good work. Whew. Shake it off, get a quick sip of water. We're going to move on to our upper body sequence. So I'm about to demonstrate them to you first. We're going to use our light weights. If you got them, Hopefully you do. Hopefully you have something. Not hopefully. We all have something at home. If you're a student and you have a textbook in each hand, that works too. Hold a backpack, put some books inside, anything. Get creative. We all have to get creative these days to make it all work. So, <clears throat> first exercise. We're going to do them without the weights, actually. You're going to use your same raised surface. And we're going to do push-ups on that surface. So from your knees, you want to do them from your toes as an option as well. But from your knees works just fine. And we're going to do push-ups, bringing our chest down to your raised surface and back up. I'm just going to put another mat under my knees here. If you don't have a mat at home, if you have a towel or a sweater, or you can put a pillow or fold a blanket, whatever you got going on. Get nice and tall, and you're going to let your chest fall to your surface and back up. Even if you have nothing and you're on the wall, you can do these on the wall. And just to show you that you can do push-ups on the wall, if you can see me from here, and you're able to push down and up, the idea is that you're on an incline and that incline angle is what we're looking for here. So on the wall if you must, but that would be standing up and that's okay. Now I want to show you something that's important. At the bottom, I don't want your shoulders to be crunched up in a way where they're up near your ears and your neck and traps are active. Okay, that's going to bring some pain in that area. So you want your shoulder blades down and push back into your back pocket. That's going to open up your chest, keep them there from start to finish, so that when you get down to your surface, that your nose is high, your chin is high, and the chest is opened up instead of inwards. Open up, and we're going to do that for the full set. Second exercise, we're going to stand up, and we're going to do some bent over rows with our light weights. So the bent over rows, 
look like this. Down and with your body just above parallel to the ground, we're going to be lifting our elbows to the ceiling and using our shoulder blades to again push your shoulder blades together, but also push them back into your back pocket. Elbows back and the mid back squeezes, even if you're feeling it in your lower back as well, that's okay. Just make sure that even when you're bent over, you're in this position, so your shoulders are not like this. We're not rowing this way. Shoulders are down, they're pushed back, the chest is open up, and we're rowing just like that. Okay, that's the second exercise. Third exercise, we're gonna stand up from those bent over rows and we're gonna do a bicep curl. Okay, our bicep curl is gonna be a hammer grip. If you got light weights, hammer grip means the pop, meaning the palms are facing each other. And in this position, so normally, traditionally, we see this one as the most popular bicep curl with the palms forward. With a hammer grip, it's a bit more functional because it strengthens the forearms in, uh, in a way that help makes you stronger for, for daily activities more, okay? So rarely in, in life do we have to lift our palms in this direction against weight, although it does happen. More often, we're using a more neutral grip. So this is the exercise here, down and up. And then the last exercise is gonna be our overhead extension. So our overhead extension, our elbows are gonna be up by our ears. So you're gonna be up and back as much as possible. I don't want your elbows down here, it's not gonna count. Elbows are up and back as much as possible. And if this is hard for you and you have to do one arm at a time, that's fine. Otherwise, if you're able to get both arms, if you're able to get both arms this way, you want the, the weights to come back to your shoulder blades, the back of the shoulders, and we're gonna be extending so that the weight goes up to the ceiling and your elbows stay by, your, by the temples of your forehead. They don't fall down, they stay up and back, and we extend so at the top there's a nice straight line there. Got it? <clears throat> Those are four exercises. So we're about to get started. Take a quick sip of water if you need it. <clears throat> if you've got a towel nearby, now's the time. Wipe it all off because we're going to get started with those push-ups. <clears throat> and those push-ups, we're going to do 12 reps. We're going to do 12 reps of every exercise. And we're going to start with three sets. So 12 in three, two, one, down chest and up. One, two, three, and as many as you can. Four five, six, and if you're not able to do the full number of reps, eight, nothing wrong with that, nine, even if you're getting one or two or three, two more, as many as you can do within that time, we're looking for quality movements first, so as long as you're moving, it's what matters most, let's go bent over and start moving the weights up for one, Two, pull them into your body. Three, four, really squeeze with your back. Five, remember shoulder blades back and down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, big squeeze, and twelve. Hold on to those weights, stand up, and we're going to do our hammer curls for twelve, all the way up to the shoulder, straight elbow at the bottom. Three, four, Five, straight elbow at the bottom. Six, keep it up. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. <clears throat> Arms go up for the triceps. And twelve, eleven, ten. Watch the elbow, keep it high. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all the way down, all the way up, two, last one, and one, time. Well done, well done. Good stuff, shake them off. Now that was a nice, well-rounded circuit. Back, chest, front of arm, back of arm. Okay, and then it's, it's always about quality of movement first. So if this was too easy for you, for example, there's ways to do it so that it becomes more challenging. For example, do push-ups from the ground instead of on a height. 
hold more weight for your bent over rows or hold a heavier weight for your biceps and triceps. And remember, you can get creative and use something else. If you don't have any uh, single arm weights at home, but you have something heavy, something about 10 pounds, it could be in any, any shape, we'll use that for the next set just to show you we can do variations. Let's start with our push-ups first. In three, two, one, we're doing 12 together, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep it up, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and 1. Good stuff. Stand up. Let's pick up our weight, whatever we got at home. We're bent over, and we're going to do 12, 11, pull it to your body, 10, 9, Eight, squeeze your shoulder blades. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to hold it at the top. One, hold your weight to your chest. Let's gravity pull it down, but keep your weights, your arms tight. Keep your back tight. And the next, for a big squeeze in between the shoulder blades. In three, two, one, slowly down. Same weight for those biceps. And let's start. One. All the way down, all the way up. Two, three, four, full extension at the bottom. Five, keep it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Eleven, all the way down, all the way up. And twelve. Arms go up overhead. Remember the elbows stay back, and the weight comes to your back, your shoulders. And full extension for 12, 11, 10, all the way up, 9, 8, 7, straight elbows at the top, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time. Well done, well done. Whew, good stuff, good stuff. Shake it off, shake it off. We're going to do one more round of that one. And then we'll take a vote, see if you guys want a fourth. If we don't get any positive votes, we'll just move on to some stretching. Good stuff. So, oh, you can vote right now. Up to you. Vote ahead of time so we know by the end of the set whether or not you want to do more or not. We're going to start with our push-ups. And we're about to do the last set. So for this last set... We're going to do bonus reps. We're going to do 15 reps of every exercise. So let's start with those push-ups. However you're doing them, from your toes, from your knees, on the ground, on a height, against the wall, doesn't matter. As long as you're doing them, we're going to do 15 reps together in 3, 2, 1, and 15, 14. Let's go. 13, 12. Remember, as many as you can. 11, and even if you can't get 15, 10, and you can only get 12 or 10, whatever you can do is good, better than nothing. 6, 5, 4, focusing on quality movements above all else, and last one, and one. Good stuff, and pick up the weights, whatever you got going on. Rubber bands work too. I always forget about rubber bands. But if you got rubber bands at home for resistance, those work really well. And together, 15, 14, 13. Squeeze your shoulder blades. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold at the top. Big squeeze, extra squeeze in those shoulder blades in three, two, and one. Stand up tall. We start with those bicep curls. And 15, 14, all the way down, all the way up. 13, 12, all the way down, all the way up. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, 
three, two, and one. Good stuff. Arms come up. Remember the weight goes to the back of your shoulder blades and your elbows stay tall. And 15, 14, 13, 12, I'll elbow stay tall. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Let's go. Finish strong. 2 and 1. Time. Well done. Well done. So at this point, we'll ask for either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. See if anyone's got any votes. If not, that's fine. We're going to move on. So we'll just wait a few seconds. If we don't hear any thumbs up or thumbs down, we're just going to go forward with some stretching. Good so far. Take a quick sip of water. We got a thumbs up. All right. We got one brave person, which is all we need. All we need is one. Okay. And we're going to do our fourth round. So shake it off. We're going to shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. We'll do our last round of push-ups. We'll do a quick shout-out, though. You know what? Who, who gave the thumbs up? No, you can spell it for me. Just spell it for me. Let's take a quick look. Andrea and Ariella, thank you very much for viewing. And thank you for voting. Because, again, you're not just voting for the live right now. For those who get to watch it later on the uploaded version... They get to do one more set, thanks to you. All right, so push-ups. Push-ups, we're going to do for the bonus set, voted on by our, our lovely viewers. Just because you asked for it, we're going to do 20 reps for this bonus round, okay? 20 reps of all three exercises, starting with our push-ups. Remember, you can do these on the ground, on a wall, whatever your surface is, 20 reps, three Two, one, and one, two, three, keep it up, four, stay with me, let's go, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep it up, eleven, let's go guys, last set, make it count, thirteen, fourteen, finish strong, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, let's go to the end, and 20, well done, well done, grab our weight, whatever weight you got, bent over and together, 20, counting down this time, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, as high as you can get that weight to your body, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it at the top, big squeeze in those shoulder blades as tight as you can, and 3, 2, 1, and down, up, 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 weights going forward, bicep curl, and 1, Two, all the way down, all the way up. Three, four, close your arm at the top and open it at the bottom. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, big squeeze. Five, four, three, all the way down, all the way up. Two, and one, overhead, weight goes down to your shoulder blades, and elbows stay tall. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, all the way down. 13, 12, 11, 10, fully closed, fully open. 8, 7, keep your elbows tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Well done, well done. Drop it, shake them off, shake them off. High fives, high fives. Good work, good work. Shake them off, shake them off. Woo! How we doing? Still with me? 
If you made it this far, thank you very much. Shake it off, take a quick sip of water. We're gonna go to some stretching now. We're gonna do some stretches together. We're gonna go down to the mat. Or whatever you got at home. Doesn't have to be a mat. I mean, ideally you're not doing stretches on cement. But whatever you got going on, as long as it works. All right, so we're gonna start with our 90-90 position. When I say 90-90, I mean knees bent at 90 degrees, both of them. Okay, they can be in front of you, they can be beside you, next to you, as long as you're more or less at 90-90. And we're going to take this position and we're gonna twist back. So if my left leg is behind me, we're gonna bring the heel towards the bum and we're gonna pull back as far as we can. So I'm turning to my right, away from my left leg. Pull, pull, pull. And once I've reached my furthest point, I'm gonna drop down nice and slow to the ground as far as I can. And once I have that position, I'm gonna breathe, focus on my breathing, I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count to 15 to 20 on my own. Now you wanna keep the 90-90 position as you're holding your stretch, keeping your heel towards your bum. Don't let it slip out from under you. That's part of the stretch. Slowly come back up. And let's switch to the other side. Remember, start with the heel. So if it's my right foot, my right heel is toward my right hip. Close this gap as much as possible. Slowly turn as far as you can. And then down to the ground. And at my lowest point, I'm gonna hold Focus on my breathing, deep breaths. And slowly back in, good slough, and slowly come out of it. Woo, shake them off, shake them off, shake them off. Okay, we're gonna go back to some basic stretching. And we're gonna have one leg in, we call this one the modified hurdler stretch. You're gonna be stand, sit up tall. You want a nice straight, tall chest. And without bending your back, you're gonna fall forward, pivoting from your hips. Fall forward as far as you can towards that toe. And with a tall chest, you're gonna hold that position. Point your toe towards your forehead. And if you're someone who's really flexible and can get their head down to their knee, nothing wrong with that as long as we're stretching the hamstrings. Now the hamstrings are on the under, underside of the thigh, and the hamstrings are a muscle that get really tight. We spend a lot of time seated down in a chair, on the couch, at our desk, in the car. Okay, so the hamstring stretch is something you wanna do on a regular to help combat those seated positions. Slowly back in and switch sides. Slowly reach forward. You start with a tall chest and a tall back first. Fall forward, fall forward, and reach. And squeeze. Remember to point that toe towards your forehead and as far as you can. You don't want to bend the back first, but if you're reached your furthest point and you want to afterwards bend the back in the end to reach a little further. As long as it's not aggravating anything, that's okay. Like you have to bend your back to put your forehead down to your knee. And if you're that flexible, that's okay. Otherwise, you wanna focus on keeping a tall chest, stretching the back of the hamstrings and the back of the knee. 15 to 20 seconds, and slowly come back in. Good stuff. Shake them off, shake them off, shake them off. We're gonna bring them in once more for a butterfly stretch. So the heels are in towards your body and your knees are gonna actively be pushed down to the ground as we fall forward. And in that forward position, you're gonna feel it where you're the most 
tight first, so it could be in the inner thigh, it could be in your lower back, could be in your hamstring, could be all sorts of places. But as long as you feel it in a comfortable way to stretch, you want to hold it there, focus on that sweet spot for a good 15-20 seconds. And what I suggest at the bottom, if you watch me, I'm going to turn slightly to one side, give it a nice, uh, just, just a bit of a tad of a turn, not too much. Nice little turn at the bottom, focus on one side only, back to the middle, and then switch to the other side. Sometimes those angles really help with finding the right sweet spot for your stretch and slowly come back in. All right, we're gonna do a couple more. So we're gonna lay down, get one of my favorites. You're gonna have one knee in. For some people, just hugging the knee in this position is enough, and if that's the case, amazing. But what I want you to do ideally is, you're gonna drop that knee across the body while you keep the opposite hand on the ground Depending on your level of flexibility, some people might stop here, some people will be able to go all the way down without feeling the stretch at all, and if that's the case, you can wait for the next stretch. Not every stretch is for every person. You're always going to do what's right for you, but if you're in this position here, I want you to push the knee down to the ground while keeping your other arm nice and open, and ideally you're going to feel it on the outside of the body, so when you're from from the obliques to the lower back to your hips, hamstrings, or even your chest. And then slowly back to the middle, down to center. Bring your other leg up. And some of you, just the hug position will be just fine. Otherwise, ideally, I want you to pull it across, down to the ground. Push, push, push. And if you're feeling any opening of joints in your lower back, any cracks, it's not something that we're trying to do, but if it happens, just by default, nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not feeling any pain or discomfort from it, usually you're feeling some slight relief from those twists that cause the popping in the lower back. Those joints, I mean, similar to the chiropractic joint pops that you hear when you go in for those treatments. Again, it's not something we're trying to do, but this position often does that to the lower back, and if that's the case, again, nothing wrong with it unless it's bringing you any discomfort or pain. Slowly here, we're gonna do one more stretch for you, and for this stretch, we're gonna need our raised surface. So I have the bench here, but for you it might be your couch, in fact, this is uh, often called the couch stretch because it's most often done at home with your couch, sometimes on, off the surface of your bed. You could even do it on a flat wall. But what I want you to do is, if you can manage and get something soft under your knee, you're in a lunged position this way. And with the surface up, up high, Again, you can do this on a flat wall. Your foot is back and lifted, and it's gonna give you a nice stretch in the front of the thigh. And we can increase it. If you're someone who's really flexible, you can increase it by falling forward into a lunge, or putting your arm up into the air and arching over in the opposite direction to really feel the opening up of the front of the thigh if your arm is up, it's gonna be the arm that's the same side as your leg behind you, and stretching back and across, and slowly in. And if that's something you enjoy, you can do that for a couple of sets. Let's do the other side. Foot goes up. Arm, if you wish. Lunge forward, if you wish. And then lastly, if you're someone who needs it, you're gonna fall forward, sorry, fall back and over, build that arch, as if you're pulling away from the stretching area, the stretched area, to really open up the hip and the front of the thigh. Good, and slowly come back in. 
good stuff. And of course, this is the time, now that your body's warm after the workout, to focus on areas that are tight for you. So if you know of any areas that need stretching, now's the time to do them. And of course, if you need any recommendations, make sure to DM us, send us a message and ask us, and we'll be able to make some recommendations for you, as always. And also, just a reminder, we're working on a new service where we're going to be partnering up with some uh, people in the community to go live on Instagram to have some chats about fitness, health, wellness, nutrition, all that sort of thing, answering the most popular questions that we get. And if you have any juicy questions, save them for that day, or better yet, send them ahead of time so that when we do do our lives a couple weeks from now, that we're able to go ahead and answer them. It'd be good to get some ideas of what you guys want to see answered in a live stream. Um, and then, um, yeah, go ahead and, and feel free to give us some suggestions. Now, those will mo most likely take place immediately after our classes. So Mondays and Wednesdays after class, we're going to go live with uh, some partners to answer popular questions. And um, hopefully we'll see you guys there. And if not, as always, we'll be able to upload those videos online afterwards. Sounds good? So always a pleasure to see you guys. Thanks again for being here, and we'll catch you guys next week. Have a great weekend.